The question is, are you guys going to go and see the Marvels on its opening weekend? Because for us, I don't know what that answer is going to be. It's probably going to be a maybe. But I will say the first teaser they put out was actually okay, which surprised me. It was intriguing. Mm -hmm. They've set it up in a good way. I want to watch this trailer to find out whether they've kept that well, I'm going to say, you know what, maybe not. Maybe they should just move away from the tone and the feel of the first Captain Marvel because most people didn't like it. Now, there were people who said it was great, but I question your taste in movies if you really thought that one Brie Larson's performance in that movie was good. While Brie Larson is a good actress, she's decent. She was absolutely atrocious in that role. But before we get to anything else, we got to do fact of the day, page number 210. Fact number. Four. Death Watch beetles attract mates by repeatedly banging their heads on the floor. Now that's how I feel while I've been watching the MCU over the past three years. Oh. Oftentimes it's just been me hitting my head against the wall. Bang, 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 bang. Maybe if I hit my head enough, I'll actually end up liking it. You know, bang, 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 bang their heads. That's what the writers have been doing to come out with stuff that they've been coming out with. And it's been an absolute disaster. But hopefully this is going to be better than some of the stuff they have previously put out in Phase 4 and Phase 5. There have been some good movies in Phase 4. One or two. But they've been few and far between. Hey, no, Ranger the Comic Con. No, yes, so right now we're going to be reacting to the first trailer for the Marvels. This thing's coming out in October or November time. I believe it's the next MCU release in terms of movie, even in terms of TV shows. And from what Bob Iger said, they seem to be scaling back on their production of movies, television shows, special presentations, all the shenanigans, and also reducing their budgets, which might actually be a good idea. But let's get to this trailer. Let's go. Carol Danvers, prodigal child of the Milky Way. Nick Fury. My favorite one-eyed man of intrigue. How goes it out there? Uh, you know, cold, no air. Oh, the cat. Space. Goose. Goose. Captain Marvel. The Annihilator. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favor. Base level MCU villain. Oh, so the villain kind of messed up their powers somehow. Yeah. She's entangled our light-based powers. So we switch places whenever we use them. Strong theory. You can absorb light. I can see it. And Kamala. Who's Kamala? Hi. She can turn light into physical matter, which I have never heard of. I could totally show you. No! Oh. targeting every planet we call home. I would never choose to bring anybody into this. You are not the only thing standing between this and the universe. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god, we're a team. Higher. Further. Faster. All right, that intro they took a bit of inspiration from Infinity War and Doctor Strange. Who's that good kid he cooks? Oh my god! I can't. Can you? I got it. You know? I like it. You like it. I actually preferred the first teaser to this. I think that was better put together, but this did give more story. There's something about this story which I think Captain Marvel needed. Mm -hmm. She is the Wonder Woman machine. She is the big guns. She doesn't need a team. Mm -hmm. But this is doing something for her character where she needs to learn how to be in a team and to be a leader and also to take the sub leader role when right. necessary, right? This is good for her character because the character we saw in the first film 
wasn't very likable. I do think her characterization in this, just from the trailers, is far, far better. And Brie Larson is pulling it off as well. And with the villain, that bangle, mm -hmm. I think that's the other side to Miss Marvel's bangle. Right. We've right? not watched the show, so I'm not exactly sure what they did with it. Yeah. But I'm assuming when she hit her Kree hammer against the bangle, it kind of messed up the light matrix or something, and it screwed up all their power sets. Yeah in which they kind of jump into each other's position in space. Yes. One thing I didn't like was those final shots, we saw that they were using their own powers again. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have given that away. Well, they were using their powers initially. They haven't changed powers during the movie. They just changed the space in time they are. Yes, but I'm sad that they've shown us that by the final fights, they figured that all out. And now they're working as a team with their own powers. I would have liked mm -hmm. to have seen them figuring out how to spit between their own different locations yeah. and figure out how to fight in that But manner. that would have only been doable if they were all in the same room fighting at the same time. So they could have done that. I think eventually we're going to see that probably halfway through the movie where they're in the same space and they fight in a fight together while flitting between each other where they are in space. So that's something that could be cool. But clearly those problems are going to get sorted out by the end because it cannot be a long standing idea. It's decent for a one and done, but you can't have these lads flitting in and out, jumping from place to place all the time. No, no, not all the time. No. At the end of this film, it has to be sorted. Precisely. But... So then you knew what was coming at the end. I just hope we get that good interim and the middle ground where we actually see some cool shit. Yeah, absolutely. And some character growth. Mm -hmm. We need we some need. of that from Carol Danvers and Monica Rambeau. We need to see what their relationship is at the start of the movie and where it goes at the end because there's clearly a lot of shit going on there. Yeah. So overall, this wasn't a bad trailer. I wouldn't say it's top tier MCU, but... Considering some of these previous movies, I would say I'm actually a little excited for this. I'm looking forward to I'm it. I'm intrigued and way more hopeful for this movie than I thought I would be coming out of Captain Marvel 1. Correct. Which almost seemed impossible, but hey, that's how bad the MCU's been overall. That now the Marvel's Captain Marvel 2 looks like, hey, this might be decent. This might be actually good. Oh, never would have guessed it. Never, ever, ever. Anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Captain Marvel herself gonna come after you. You don't want that? No, do they want that? No. no. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been the original comic. I've been on She's Sensei. been on Sensei. You've been Grand. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over five years now, and we are stopping until we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Should see content. So hashtag never not here. Hashtag goes also bring the Pukwas. Pukwas means nonsense. Imp and jobby. We also bring that bring a lot, bring a little, do a lot, do a little, but we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow. More of the same, slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh. <laughs>